Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is easily the most feature-packed phone of the year. It is also one of the most beautiful phones of the year. Such an amazing phone definitely deserves an amazing home screen setup. So this is my attempt to design a home screen worthy of this amazing phone. In this video, I'll show you my launcher, icons, widgets, as well as all the tweaks I have made to the UI using good luck modules and a few other apps. So without any further ado, let's get started. Ok, starting with the home screen, I have the clock and search bar widget on my first page along with a few icons and folders. Next page has the calendar and music widgets and the third page has the battery and weather widgets. For this, I am using Nova Launcher Prime as my default launcher as it offers a lot of flexibility. I have shared the link to my exact home screen layout in the description. Coming to my wallpaper of choice, it's the Hail Hydra wallpaper available via the Backdrops app. But as you can see, I have blurred it quite a bit. For that, I am using the Blur wallpaper app. You can adjust the blur level, brightness as well as saturation level with this app. If you want the lock screen wallpaper to have this blur effect as well, just tick this set lock screen box. Coming to the icon pack, I use the icon pack studio app to design my own icons. I have shared the link to my icon pack in the description. Finally, coming to the widgets, these are inspired by the nothing phone widgets. For this, you'll need to purchase two apps, KWGT Pro and nothing widget pack. From this pack, I am currently using the weather widget, battery widget, calendar widget, music widget as well as the search bar widget. This clock widget is not included in the pack. This widget is designed by me. I have shared its link in the description. You can directly import it into KWGT. If you are not well versed with KWGT and how to tweak import or export widgets, you can check out a few KWGT guide videos on YouTube. I will also share a few good ones in the description. Anyways, I have also tweaked the nothing widgets a little bit to make them somewhat transparent. I will show you how it's done. Add a blank KWGT widget of your desired size. This one is 4x2. Tap on it and select the nothing widget pack from the installed packs section. Select the widget you want. I am selecting this weather widget. As you can see, the widget doesn't fit in the box. So we first need to scale it down. Go to the layers tab and reduce the scale. Now it fits well. As you can see, the widget isn't transparent and it has a dark grey color. Go to the globals tab and turn on amulet to make it black. Now go to the items tab and select widget, background, background. Now go to the effects tab and add a vertical gradient texture. Now from the colors select black and reduce the opacity to around 30% and apply. Now you can see a semi transparent widget. Save and you are done. Repeat these steps for other nothing widgets as well. So that pretty much covers my entire home screen setup. Now let's check out Goodlock. For the uninitiated, Goodlock is an app you need to download from the Galaxy Store. This app is made by Samsung for the power users who want to tweak and customize every aspect of one UI. Within the Goodlock app, there are several modules which let you customize different aspects of this phone. In this video, I'll be covering 4 of them. Keys Cafe, Clock Face, One Hand Operations Plus and the newest edition Register. Starting with Keys Cafe, go to style your own keyboard, go to the effects tab and select the effects of your choice. You can select whichever color combination you want but I have selected red to match my home screen look. These keyboard effects look really cool and even mesmerizing at times. Next is the clock face module. Using this module, you can get a lot more clock faces for your lock screen and always on display. There are a lot of cool options, but I am using the dot matrix style clock face to match the nothing widgets aesthetic. You can also design your own clock faces here. Next is the one hand operations plus module. This lets you add gestures to the left and right edges of the phone. For my right handle, I have set the short swipe to back key, horizontal long swipe to previous app upward long swipe to screenshot and downward long swipe to notification panel. For my left handle, I have shortcuts to split screen, quick tools and torch. Finally, the register module lets you add back tap actions to this phone. I have assigned double tap to my music app and triple tap to whatsapp. 
this comes in quite handy. There is a lot more stuff packed into good luck. So please keep exploring it, you'll definitely have a great time. Similar to what good luck does to one UI, game plugins does to your gaming experience. Even this app is available via the Galaxy Store. Inside this app, you get many modules as well. Out of these, the Game Booster Plus module lets you modify your gaming experience based on your preferences like max FPS or battery saving. The Perf Z module lets you add a floating widget on top of your game to show important information like FPS, CPU, GPU usage as well as the temps. Finally, Muviz is an app which adds a music visualizer to the bottom of your phone's display. It looks really cool while playing music. You can choose from a lot of options and even modify them to suit your style. I am using a black and red visualizer to match my home screen colors and aesthetics. So that pretty much covers most of the tweaks I have made to this UI. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. All the relevant links are in the description. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel down below. Thanks for watching.